Welcome to J-West Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to install and adjust the over travel stops on the Renshift performance shifter. The over travel stops are a couple of uh, set screws and nuts that are included in the hardware pack that comes with the shifter. And they're designed to protect really the internals of the transmission from overzealous shifting. So we all try to be have mechanical sympathy and and not abuse our cars, but you know things happen when you're driving. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video, but if I just lean on the shifter a little, there's relative motion right here. Internal to the transmission, the shift forks and linkage are actually flexing as I push on the shifter here. So we want to minimize that and minimize any uh, internal damage or wear that might happen from from stressing the, the inside of the transmission that obviously is can get very expensive so over travel stops should not be installed until everything is done with the adjustment of the shifter i recommend that you drive it for quite a while make sure that the adjustment is just where you want it before it installing the over travel stops at all. So one, once everything's set and you have the, the shifter adjusted where you want it, then you install the stops. The rear one will be with the sh shifter shifted into a forward gear. You put a slight amount of pressure on the shifter to the front and screw the stop in until you just feel it touch. Then you back off a little bit. You want a gap there. You do not want it stopping your travel uh, during a normal shift. Now how much you back off is really dependent on your exact setup, mainly your engine and transmission mounts. If you have factory rubber mounts, especially old worn factory rubber mounts, you're probably going to need to back it off around a quarter of a turn to give a lot of clearance. Um, if, you, if you have solid mounts or some uh, pretty stiff urethane mounts, you might be able to tighten up eighth of a turn or thereabouts. But it'll become obvious when you're driving if you have them too close. If you, once you drive it for a little bit, you'll feel. The most obvious place to feel it is when you're downshifting under hard braking because then the mass of the engine and, and transmission will shift the most that they're going to shift in, in the chassis. And when you, when you downshift, you'll actually feel the shifter feel a little too solid when you fully engage the gear. It'll feel different than a normal shift. And you know that the linkage has moved enough to change that relationship and you'll be touching the stop. And you don't want that to happen under a normal, slow, gentle downshift. And it'll, it'll feel a little too solid for you, like it's not quite engaging. And that's what definitely you don't want to happen. You don't want the over-travel stops to prevent full engagement. You don't want that ever to happen is why I say make sure all the adjustments are done first. And then just the opposite for the front stop, you just move the shifter into a aft gear. Turn the stop until it just touches, back off a little bit. And then tighten down the nut. Of course, you use a wrench and tighten while holding the Allen wrench. Now, I was talking about the motor mounts. It's kind of interesting experiment you can do if you have installed the shifter and you have stock mounts and you're planning to upgrade. You can, if you if you had the stop where you just feel that under a downshift and you change transmission mounts and engine mounts, you may see that it doesn't move as much when you're done. So it's kind of fun to see the fruits of your labors of something like changing out those mounts actually does change something in the car. So shifter can become kind of a little mini test rig for you to 
to uh, actually experience that. So there you go, another one of the upgrades you're doing with your in shift and how to properly adjust and utilize that.